Magnetic force, like electric force and gravitational force, does not require contact. So we can talk about magnetic field and magnetic field lines. A magnet is a magnetic dipole with a north pole and a south pole. It produces magnetic field around it, and it is kind of like an electric dipole. The north pole is kind of like the positive Q. The south pole is kind of like the negative Q. So the magnetic field lines come out of the north and into the south, except for one very important difference. Let's say I break a magnet into two pieces. Do I get one piece that is the north pole and the other piece that is the south pole? No, what I get are two magnets with north-south, north-south. It turns out that no matter how small the pieces we break the magnet into, we can never separate the north and south, which means the magnets only come in dipoles. No magnetic monopoles with only north or only south have ever been found. This means the magnetic field lines have no place to originate from and have no place to terminate at. Therefore, they form closed loops and go through the inside of the magnet like this. Of course, for this line, it would go around like this and then loop up. Here I have a bar magnet and some iron filings suspended in oil. I'm going to put this magnet down. Now we can see that the iron filings line up with the magnetic field lines. The iron filings line up with the magnetic field lines because the iron filings get polarized, which means magnetized by the magnet. These small magnetic compasses also line up with the magnetic field and they go out of the north into the south. This is also the reason why we can use magnetic compasses to tell direction. The Earth's magnetic field is like that produced by a bar magnet that has its magnetic south pole near the geographic north pole. That's why magnetic compasses would line up with the field lines and the north pole of the compass would point north because it is attracted by the magnetic south pole right here.